right, today I'm reviewing the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. So if you want to help keep the channel independent, check out my products at nobsbeauty.com and also at the Amazon link below. So I wasn't initially going to pick this up because I'm not a huge face mist person. I've got a few I use frequently. And other than that, I don't really need a whole lot for that. I just have a few that I like and really don't waver too much from them. But I have the other products in this line, so I thought I had to pick them up. I've got the uh, sheet masks, the Watermelon Glow Serum, the Watermelon Glow uh, Sleeping Mask. So when this came out, I had to kind of complete my collection. So I had to pick it up, and I thought... Uh, after trying it now for a while, I'm going to let you guys know my thoughts on it based on my Sarah score scale. And my first criteria is packaging. And overall, it's cute, decent packaging. Uh, I do recommend if you pick this up, keep this in a cabinet. Because if you store this on your bathroom countertop, light will come in from the window. And uh, light just will impact some of the beneficial ingredients in there. So keep it in the cabinet just out of... Uh, the sunlight so that's my recommendation but otherwise the packaging is nice convenient if you travel it's very travel friendly and all the way around kind of cute packaging my second criteria is alcohol and this does not contain any of the denatured or drying alcohol so that is always a very good thing as well glow recipes you do usually pretty uh, thoughtful about that so that's nice to see my third criteria is fragrance, and this has a very uh, beautiful, uh, lovely watermelon scent. It really smells good, kind of makes you crave watermelon. Uh, so it's got that, and that's uh, from the first two ingredients, which are watermelon extract and watermelon seed extract. And uh, the very, very last ingredient is fragrance, which uh, probably gives it a little bit of a boost of the watermelon scent. So I would have preferred it to just have some of the natural scent from watermelon being the first two ingredients. However, they did add a little bit of fragrance. Uh, however, it probably won't be much of an issue unless you have very, very sensitive skin uh, or a very sensitive nose. The scent is, uh, you know, when you initially spray it, the scent is strong, but it dissipates rather quickly. I tend to have more of a sensitive nose than sensitive skin. So a lot of fragrances bother me or give me headaches or migraines. Uh, this scent didn't end up bothering me at all. So it's just a nice watermelon scent. So uh, unless you have very, very sensitive skin, probably not much of an issue. My fourth criteria is the manufacturing location, and this is made in Korea, so no issues with that. My fifth criteria is ease of use, and let me give you a little tip. Uh, the first several times you spray this, I would recommend spraying it uh, away from your face. You really want to get the sprayer kind of primed. So the first initial spritzes tend to be not as fine of a mist as after you get it used to spraying. So that's kind of my tip. So before you use it for the first time, definitely spray it several times away from your face. And then if you've kind of primed the pump sprayer, uh, then you can use it towards your face. And it will give you a kind of a nice fine mist. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, so it's a very, very fine mist, which is which is nice. So if you're using this over makeup, you most likely won't have any issues with that. Uh, but the mist does come out nice and fine, so uh, which is nice. So if you use this over makeup, you probably won't have any issues with it. Uh, however, I recommend, uh, I tend to have more of a success using it uh, underneath my foundation. So that's nice scent. Um, so I tend to use it underneath my foundation and uh, before I apply any primer or things like that. It gives you a boost of hydration. Uh, really, in my opinion, doesn't help set makeup so much, but it does give it a boost of hydration before you apply your foundation. And throughout the day, if you have super dry skin, giving yourself a little bit of a spray here and there, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So uh, very easy to use. My sixth criteria is antioxidants, and it's got a lot of them. Let's see, watermelon extract and watermelon seed extract. Uh, it has lithospermium ethyrohyzin root extract, which the short name of it is Gromwell extract, which is a skin-soothing antioxidant, uh, so it's a beneficial ingredient. Uh, hyaluronic acids in there, Centilla asiatica, which is the sica plant, is in there, skull root extract, licorice root extract, 
uh, apple cider vinegar, which uh, interestingly in very small amounts can be beneficial for your skin. It can help soothe skin. It can help with acne and things like that. However, in large amounts, the apple vinegar cider extract uh, can be kind of irritating and drying. But in the amount they've included, uh, the apple cider ex vinegar extract is definitely a beneficial ingredient. So if it were one of the first couple ingredients, uh, there could be a potential uh, sensitization issue. However, since it's in a small amount, uh, it's most likely a good beneficial ingredient for your skin. So uh, lots of good uh, antioxidants included. My seventh criteria is animal testing and the Glow Recipe brand is cruelty free. So that is always nice to see. My eighth criteria is performance. And like I said, I, using this before foundation gives my skin a bit of a boost of hydration. Applying it over foundation for me, especially right after applying it, really didn't, I didn't notice any extra benefits from it. So I recommend using it before foundation or after you've applied foundation a few hours into the day if your skin is starting to feel tight or just like you need like a bit of a watermelon refresh uh, to give yourself a little spritz uh, works well. It really doesn't do anything to set makeup or to extend makeup wear, but it does give your skin a bit of hydration, especially if you have drier skin. So um, in terms of performance, it performs really nicely. Um, yeah. And then my ninth criteria is the price, and this is the full size, which is 2.53 ounces, and it sells for $28. So uh, not very expensive, actually more affordable. I've got a few other uh, spritzes that I'd also recommend in case you're in the market, but I really like the Clinique. It's the Moisture Surge Hydrating Mist. It kind of is similar to the Glow Recipe in the fact that it doesn't really help extend or set makeup, but it gives your skin a boost of hydration. So on days my skin is super dry, I'll spray it on before foundation. Or sometimes uh, when I get right out of the shower and I'm uh, doing other things, I'll sp spray a couple spritzes on this so my skin doesn't get fully dry before I start applying my skincare. So I like this one. Another good one is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I really like this one. It's uh, I love the bottle. I've actually uh, had a couple of these bottles and I used to just refill them with other products because I love the spritz. It was so fine. So this is a good one. Also accomplishing the same goal as adding hydration and not so much setting makeup. And then another good one is the Casarex Centella uh, Water Alcohol-Free Toner. Uh, I use this as a toner and as just a hydrating spritz. So uh, none of these are good for setting makeup or extending makeup wear, but they are good for adding some good hydration. So if you're in the market or have any of these, they're all, love them all. So, and then my 10th criteria, which is the it factor. Uh, it's nice and refreshing. Uh, it's not super unique. There's definitely other good refreshing uh, sprays out there. So if you have one that you're already using and you like it, uh, I personally don't think you need to run out and pick this up. But if you already have a lot of the other products from Glow Recipe and uh, are looking for to kind of complete it, it's definitely not too expensive. I do wish they would have left out that little bit of fragrance at the very end, but I can't win them all. So uh, overall, I gave this an 8 out of 10, which is still pretty darn good. So anyway, I'm interested if you guys have a chance to check this out yet or not, uh, or if you're trying the other ones, or if you have a favorite uh, that I haven't mentioned. Uh, what is it and how do you like it? So leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, check out nobsbeauty.com and the Amazon link below and my shirts are there. So thank you guys so much.